So, hello everyone. I wanted to come on and kind of do this pre-recording on tonight um, because um, my sinus has been bothering me. And so I'm going to take this medicine and I know that I'm going to oversleep. And so I or either jump up running in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go on tonight and pre-record this video to post for in the morning in the morning i really love talking to you guys live but i gotta get this sign up straight <laughs> i was um thinking about something uh as i was reminiscing on my 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 weekend this weekend and uh so um as you all know i posted something in a memory a tribute to my late husband Michael James and so it's kind of an emotional time for me and so um, I, post, I put together this video just to calm some of that some of that pain uh, that I was feeling and loneliness and sometimes you know we like that uh, when we lose people uh, no matter who it is when we lose people that we love and in close in our lives and so God always gives us things that we can do to uh, to strengthen ourselves, to keep pushing, to keep moving in life and uh, letting us know that, you know, you're going to be all right. But it's still OK that because I give you an avenue and time to to still grieve in your own way, uh, knowing that you can't change nothing that God has allowed to happen. But the thing about it is that he gives us moments in time and he doesn't expect for us to just stay there. He expects for us to get up and keep moving. And so I will say that on today, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I'm better now. So um, I went through that moment and I thank God that he placed on my heart to make that video of my the tribute to my late husband and um but I, what i want to talk to you about is expectations and tolerations expectations and tolerations and something that came to mind was a scripture and i just want to read it right quick very brief and then i'm going to go into a little detail on why i feel like God put that on my heart uh, to share with you. So it reads over in James, the first chapter, that second verse. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting for nothing. I love that scripture. I love the fact that God always lays scriptures on my heart. And this is just something to share in what he revealed to me. Expectations versus toleration. Because... God expects for us to do things in life. God knows that we are going to have points in our life in which we're going to feel like um, life is swallowing us up. It's just, it's just swallowing us up. And we don't know which way to go. And I know that we all have been there before. Every last one of us have been there where we felt like we're just losing a grip on life. And we try to make that thing go away, but he won't let it because he's trying to get us to pay attention to what he is saying to us. And everything that he says to us, he does have expectations of us. Let me say that again. Everything that he says to us, he has expectations of us and so we are to understand 
that the trying of our faith, that things that we go through, that we got to count it all joy. The pain of loved ones that we lose, we have to count it all joy. Not saying it like you're not supposed to think about them or you, you, or what you, the life that you had with these individuals is not important. That's not what he's saying. He's saying because I am in control of their life and I am in control of your life, I'm the one. I am the one who is the giver and the taker of life. And I understand Electra, I'll put my name there, that you are going to have moments in time of reflection and, 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 and tears and uh, moan, moaning and it, just like everybody else. But what I need you to understand is that you got to have patience, that you've got to understand that expectations there are things that i expected of those who i took on to glory just like there's things that i expect of you and i expect you to be faithful to me no matter what but i also expect for you to exhibit yourself before the world to show them that we are not to grieve too long. Reflect, but we can't grieve like the world, as if he doesn't know what he's doing. Even when he takes people out of our lives from this side, they're still with us in our hearts and in our minds and in our memories, and we have that. And we have to treasure that. And we have to understand that. Expectations from God is so important to understand. Because we will kill ourselves trying to reach that point. Over exerting ourselves in expectations. Because we can expect so much from others, but nothing of ourselves. We have to expect ourselves to be better, to be stronger, to be understanding. Just that expectation of knowing that in all these things that I go through, the trying of my faith is in the front of me and things are going to happen to me in my life just like they are happening to other people but as they happen I am to get stronger I expect myself to get stronger just like I say things to you with the expectation that what I say would strengthen you. And so what God is telling me is that you can't expect something of somebody else and don't expect that same thing of you, of yourself. You can't expect your children to be better if you don't expect for you to get better. You can't expect for people not to error when you error. So make sure that those expectations balance out. Because the same thing you give out, you have to be able to take that back in. And vice versa. But toleration comes in as well as I'm thinking about what God is saying to me. Saying to me. When you don't have expectations of yourself, you will tolerate anything. You will tolerate people misunderstanding you. You will tolerate people having a misconception of you. You will tolerate people putting you down. You will tolerate people putting limits on you. You will tolerate people saying, this is who you are and what you are. You will tolerate because you don't have expectations. See, when your expectations are at 
your toleration is going to be at 90 percent let me say that again when you have an expectation of 10 percent only 10 percent of your life consists of expectations expecting you yourself let's look at self not other people expecting yourself to be this untouchable person this unimaginable hero it doesn't even make sense because you're going to try to operate in perfection and you can't do that because you are not perfect I'm not perfect nobody is perfect so don't expect yourself to be on a level that you know you're going to kill yourself trying to get there You'll be the best that you can be. And allow, when pain come in, allow it to have its perfect work. But what God is saying is don't stay there. Don't stay there. Don't, don't, don't stay in that pain. Have that moment and move on. Have that moment of tears have that moment of feeling lonely having that moment of missing that individual have that moment of feeling sad whatever that moment consists of have that but move on because you can't stay right there you can't just stay right there that's that's because I've gained I've even provided you with some things to do in that moment, even when I had my, my, the heaviness in my heart, God gave me that moment. And God sent people to call me and to say encouraging words to me. That inspired me. But he reminded me, you human. Don't apologize for being human. Don't you apologize for being human. But you got to let your patience have its perfect work, perfect works in you, wanting for nothing. In other words, you know what I expect of you as a human. And I don't expect you to apologize for being human. Stop saying that you are sorry for having tears in a moment that that's what you are feeling. It's okay because in that very moment, you are being human. And it's okay to be human. And we all are reactionary at times in our lives. But we have to realize, and I'm glad that he gave me this scripture. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptation. That's not a bad thing because what he's telling me, don't, don't let the pain get you so down. Because guess what? Satan comes in and starts working on you. And he want to keep you right there. And he don't want you to move. He wants you to stay right there. But I don't want you to stay right there. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith, work it, patience. You got to have patience. And what God was saying to me, I had expectations of your late husband, but he belonged to me. But I also have expectations of you to do those things that I have given you a vision to do. So have your moment and move forward because I expect some things of you. And to tolerate, let me get on that side of it. If you allow yourself to tolerate what you are feeling, to feel that for an enormous amount of time consistently and ongoing and don't have a break in there, that thing is going to take you down. 
That thing is going to take you to a point where you feel like you can't put one foot in front of the other. And all I'm saying is that I love you so much. I don't want you to be stuck there. I want you, my child, to have your moment. But I also want you to rise up and move forward and do the work that I've put before you to do. And it don't matter how it looks like to everybody else. I validate everything you do. So I need you to understand me that I'm the creator of everything and everybody. And I say what happens in everybody's life. And I say what's your beginning and what's your end. So have patience. Let patience have her perfect work in your life. But understand, understand this. Don't tolerate the things that the opposition against you is trying to make you tolerate. Like grieving too long. Like grieving like the world. As if as though there's no hope. As though I haven't been taking care of you. As though I haven't been right there with you. As though I'm not the person that, as if I'm not the person that put that person in your life. I'm the giver and I'm the taker of life. And I don't do things to hurt you. I do things because I do what's best in everybody's life. And you might not see it like God see it. But he knows what he's doing in all things. In all things, he will have his perfect way. Even though those things don't always feel good to us. So, again, we have to stop having this 10% of expectation with 90% of toleration. And you know in your life, those expectations that you have of yourself and others, you know the limit. You know the percentage that you, that you have. And you know the percentage of the toleration that you have in your life. The opposition, I'm going to say Satan, is always, always, trying to keep you where you are as if there is no God as if he hasn't taken care of you all this time as if you can walk away from all of his goodness all of his mercy everything he's done for you and not just you others in your life family and friends and strangers you've met along the way. God has blessed you in a mighty way. God has blessed me in a mighty way. He really has. And I thank him for it. I thank him for this moment in time for me to be able to use social media to reach out to you and to tell you, you know what? We're going to be all right. All of us. All of us, we're going to be all right. We warriors. We soldiers. We stand up straight and straighten our backs out. And face forward. And march in life. To that next thing that he has for us to do. I just wanted to share that briefly with you on tonight. And before I lay down and give me some rest <laughs> and get up and get out of here in the morning. Uh, but again, you who know about sinus know when you take sinus medicine, 
it knocks you out. But I got to get up and go to work. <laughs> and I didn't want to not leave you all with something to listen to, to view in the morning. I just didn't want to do that. Okay? And so you guys take care. Be strengthened. I don't know who might need to hear this, but I have to birth out what he puts in me. And it don't matter how I feel. It's what he says. And I have to be obedient to what he says. Okay? So you guys take care and have a wonderful day tomorrow. And I will be coming on tomorrow as a, a afternoon as a reminder uh some point tomorrow to remind you about the upcoming podcast once again, even though y'all see them, all the stuff that I put on my page, I still like respecting and letting everyone know about what's up, what's coming next, okay? So you guys take care. I'm going to go get me some sleep. <laughs>